Good evening. How are you? How's everything? Today I just want to um, give you an advice uh, from what I have seen. I am young. I'm not that old to give you advices, but uh, I believe that I have seen a lot of things in my life while I am still so young. Uh, because I'm that kind of person who likes to explore and travel and do that kind of things that people uh, are afraid from uh, which make like put me in some situations that makes me feel uh, very weak and vulnerable uh, so my piece of advice to you is I have seen a lot of people good people that a uh, young man who uh, want to achieve something in their life uh, I cannot say that they worked that hard uh, but I can see that I can say that they have did their best uh, to achieve something and due to some circumstances they couldn't achieve it and after that they started to approach bad stuff smoking and the stuff related to the smoking and uh, addiction and uh, alcohol and stuff like this trust me that if your situation is bad if you're gonna take that approach your situation will be very 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 bad uh, like if you have 100 chance, chances to be something, even if you have failed in the first time, if you take that approach that addiction and smoking and destroying your life, destroying your health, destroying your mental health specifically, that will lead you to one way which is uh, failure. You will not go anywhere with that. Uh, this stuff, uh, which is um, smoking, drinking alcohol, um, eating like unhealthy food, fast food, uh, like very, very, very uh, unhealthy way of life. Uh, that's gonna give you a temporary happiness, but that's like that will not last long. At some point, you will feel like you have wasted a lot of time doing nothing, nothing to yourself, nothing to your family, nothing to be proud of in front of your wife, your kids. That's if you're gonna gonna, gonna get married, like make it one day and get married. My piece of advice is. Like I have said, I, 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 like I study criminology and I have a bachelor degree in law and I have higher studies and inshallah soon I will prepare my PhD in criminology and criminal law. I have studied a lot of cases, I have done a lot of researches um, and always it starts, not always, like in, I, I would say 90% of the time the criminals uh, it start with alcohol start with after that smoking after that uh drugs after that all of this stuff just to stay away from all of this addiction is not good for you it's not gonna make you happy it's not gonna give you relief even if you think that it gives you relief for uh the current time for now like after that, you will not have any kind of relief. This is, trust me, man, this is not good at all for you. That's not going to help you in anything. Uh, a lot of people, they don't know what I have been through. And even my own family uh, didn't know a lot of things mm. I've been through. But I'm always, uh, like, I'm survival, I can say. And I'm not saying 
like this to show myself or something but after now I'm 29 years old and at some point of my life like I I start to think about my past and uh, yeah I, I, I fought I fought a lot I survived each and every uh, like incident each and every problem I face in my life I, I, I found out like I found a way out with the help of God and with the determination I survived <clears throat> I have been through a lot and still I am throwing a lot I have a dream that one day I will be uh, I will be a professor of criminology and criminal law in one of the top universities. I'm working on that until now. I have finished more than 1,000 courses related to different uh, subjects and also specialties. And also I, I uh, serve my English, serve for my English if it's not that good, I'm working on it. Um, <clears throat> also I, um, uh, I have bachelor and finish the higher studies of diploma and every day I'm working just to achieve that dream to be a criminology and criminal law professor. I have researches related to um, like uh, preventing crimes in countries that they have a problem with the crimes rates like United Kingdom, United States, like uh, I have also a lot of methods to prevent uh, organized crimes like mafia uh, in different countries, uh, especially in the countries that they have a very, very strong uh, mafia uh, existence, uh, mafia existence. So uh, all the time I'm making researches, I'm working myself, I'm developing myself. I have finished a lot of diplomas. Stanford, I get. I just finished diploma from uh, Stanford. Now I have. Uh, I am. I have started a diploma with Harvard. Also, I uh, in the same time I started another diploma uh, in United Kingdom uh, University. To know <clears throat> related to different subjects related to justice and law criminology, criminal law, and different branches of law. Why I'm doing that? Because if I didn't do that, if I didn't keep myself busy, if I didn't work in myself, I will take that approach that I told you in the beginning that when you fail, when you fail in something, your mind automatically drag you to this stuff. To go to, to uh, nightclubs, bars, start drinking, start smoking, starting like addiction. That's the like the beginning of anything. Uh, we are not angels. We are all making mistakes, and we are all suffering from something that we cannot get rid of, and it's a very hard to control it. Uh, me myself, I have problems, um, but. The thing is that I'm trying to control anything in, 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 in me that uh, like encourage me to do something bad. How I'm doing that, I'm keeping my, uh, myself healthy as much as I can. I'm eating healthy, have a healthy way of life. Also, all the time I'm studying, uh, I'm, I'm making myself busy. I'm trying my best not to stay at home. Staying at home, most of the times will put like will make you think like doing bad things. So keeping having a schedule, having a friends, not necessarily friends. Even if you don't have friends, if you have commitment to your dream, if you have a goal, uh, you can work on it. I I cannot say I promise you, but like 90% you will fail not just once. Uh, I applied for uh, a lot, like a lot of uh, universities before and 
even I applied for a lot of visas just to uh, go out and say, hey, I am, I have researches, one, two, three. I get like, I get rejected until now. And I don't even know the numbers. It's more than 10 times. Uh, I get approved twice and it was very good experience. It helped me a lot. The first experience, I get approved somewhere. So uh, that was about me traveling. So I, I applied a lot for a lot of visas and I get rejected. I just want to go out. I want to see the world. I want to, that will help me even to study the culture of other uh, societies and also help me a lot to uh, like making a lot of researches about the ideas that other societies do to prevent crimes, like handle the crime like problems in their communities. So I got accepted first time in Georgia. After that, I got accepted in places. So uh, it was it was like very good experience. That like the, the first time in Georgia, I got rejected almost seven times. And on eighth time, which is Georgia, I got accepted and I went. Then I got rejected almost four times. Then I want, uh, I got outside to Turkey. Yeah, Turkey, I got accepted uh, in the visa I visited. It was a very good experience, a very good country. Uh, and then I went back. Uh, and then I applied again twice. I got rejected. I'm gonna. I'm planning to apply again for different countries. That's it. It's it's not uh, when you when you get in like when you failed uh, to do your dreams, like to achieve your dreams. I'm sorry, uh, because of circumstances, like it's it's out of your hands, man. Like, see, brother, if you gonna always say that I am the reason, I have a problem with my life, I'm not good enough. We are all saying this, but me personally, I have suffered because of this. Because I always felt that I'm not good enough. But when everyone around me telling me, no, you are very good, you are better than a lot of people. So it's there are things, there are circumstances that you cannot control cannot control it just happening so the whole point is how to handle this every time each and every time i'm getting rejected in university uh, in a scholarship because i'm applying for scholarship i don't have money to be honest to apply for college outside uh, i'm taking care of my family and i am taking care of myself my mother and uh, myself so uh that makes me not saving anything actually uh but i'm very happy that i have my mom and i can help her it's a very good feeling each and every month when i am uh sending money to my mom back home uh helping her uh like hearing that the cheering voice like that she's so happy that her son taking care of her. Trust me, that's a very good feeling. Uh, even if my my dreams like didn't come true until now, and I am mentally in a very bad situation, but I'm 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 keeping pushing, and I will keep push, and I will keep trying i will keep studying and one day i'm sure i'm sure i will achieve what i want uh and as i'm telling you as a piece of advice my friend don't ever touch anything related to uh like smoking don't smoke don't drink don't like get into an addiction stuff don't do like uh any bad habits try to get rid of 
and I'm always saying try to ask for help. You didn't have to ask for help from your friends only like yeah your friends can ask for help from uh, your friends you can ask for help from your family you can ask uh, help from your psychiatrist from pronounce this right <laughs> uh, so always ask for help uh, it will help you a lot uh, training every day will help you a lot and taking one day like rest it will help you a lot going out it will help you a lot long walking will help you a lot studying will help you a lot having a commitment or determination it will help you a lot uh, loving your family and your friends will help you a lot if you have a pet that will help you a lot dogs or cats really 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 it helps people if they have uh, dogs or cats they don't suffer the same mental illness due to my uh, situation I cannot have pet or cats not health situation but I cannot take care of animal right now so as I'm telling you my friend there is always, as mom said, there is end for everything. There is end for the person's life and there is end for the life. So there is end for your suffering one day. There is end for what you're going through one day. And it depends on you and you only whether that day will be near or far. It's up to you. The harder you will work, you will make your suffering near. That will help you a lot also. Understanding how strong you are. If you have seen the people who are going through some diseases, and uh, if you know that, people know that, and you see that there are people who like the doctors saying to them that you have less than less than six months or three months to live they live for years and years until now they fight sickness they find diseases they find everything they fight everything they fight sickness and diseases they fight everything that makes men makes them weak or cannot uh, live Live every day as your last day. Live every day as your last day. Really, enjoy it. Enjoy it. The, the, I'm blaming myself for one thing. The one thing that I did really wrong, and what my mom, my mom always saying to me that you like you are very harsh on yourself and you are wasting your time. And now I'm 29 years old and I figured out that. I didn't live my life since I'm 18 years old until now because I have one commitment. I'm working hard to uh, get my uh, scholarship to get outside and get my PhD. I wasted almost the best 11 years of my life uh, achieving this goal, this goal. And while I'm achieving this goal, I forget to live my life. But now I'm trying my best to live my life as much as I can. I live my life as really now as I have no more time. Like I'm gonna die soon, so I will I will live my life, whatever it takes. I will go out, I will travel, I will see other cultures, I will enjoy each and everything. Uh, if you have a partner, a wife or fiance, that will help you a lot also. This will help you a lot. You will have commitment. When you have a commitment, you will force yourself each and every day to make something great for yourself and your family and your partner, your son, your daughter. So if you have a partner, that will help you a lot. This will help you a lot. Please, 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 please don't go in that dark tunnel. Don't go there. Don't don't listen to the people who are telling you tried once just drink this once just take this once just do this once it's not once man it's not once 
you will get addicted to it you will ha you will do it every day and at some point only god knows whether you're gonna survive this or not uh very good people they turn into criminals because like this is kind of stuff don't get into addiction don't get into smoking and um and drinking alcohol always be awake always be active always go for your goal always work hard don't care about what you like what they are saying about you don't care about them because one day these people they will talk about you one day they will say that i have met the person i worked with that person so prove to everyone that you deserve respect you deserve to be treated good you deserve better than what like what they are believe that's what you deserve just also be human don't hurt someone even if they wanted to avoid problems as much as i can there are people who is troublemakers they just want to make you in a very bad mood for no reason no reason and there is always signs in everyone that makes you like they give you warnings that this person will get you into a very very bad uh, life uh, I hope that you will listen you will understand what I'm saying I hope that uh, at least like, I, I, I changed anything on you today uh, I always make myself as an example as for the past 11 years I have a goal I didn't achieve it I worked hard on it more than anyone I worked hard and I worked smart I did everything I didn't achieve it however still I alhamdulillah I didn't I'm, I'm not like uh, drinking alcohol I'm not smoking I'm not like having any bad habits alhamdulillah and I'm, I'm still, until now, I'm still on my legs. And I will keep fighting for my dreams. I'll keep fighting until one day I will be professor. And I will teach and I will apply my researches of criminology uh, to prevent crimes. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, for watching this video I'm sorry again for my accents I did my best to deliver the message um, and see you again in another video thank you so much have a good day